fight, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-reigning champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nate respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> For the I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chilled because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that job. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Massive elbow land. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. There it is. Now he's running out. Massive shot from the top. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. He's back in good position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, big kick lands flush. Takedown defense holds up. to the single collar title. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. He does a great job of getting that leg kick through the charts. 
good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted in kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Back and forth we go. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Nice job to block the elbow attack there. And he lands a knee. The fighters separate. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side hold. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, nice strength. That'll work. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. Jab, snaps the head back. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Past the two-minute mark in round one. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big Let's knee go. lands there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That punch, no good. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Just misses with the left hook. Nice counter shot there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh! Oh, big left! Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, hurt him bad. He could find him one shot. He closed the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he has to try to find that shot again. Gets to the single collar tie. Look at the glare on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Final seconds of the round. Five. Oh, Collar tie here. Horn shouts for the end of round one. Take a deep breath. And relax. Look at him over there. He's like a piece of meat. He's beat up. Let's go out there and look for the finish. I want you to try. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? You ready? Come Second on. round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Another big head kick land. Nice job blocking that shot. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Oh, it's he opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together. It all comes together. Nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and he goes.
as desired. Nothing feels better. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots on top. He's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice. Nicely done. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to ride in with every passage. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing an amazing job. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an X. Cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, he's got to get off of it. Cannot go forward without moving your head. Oh, his timing was impeccable on that take. Beautiful transition. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard. Going for a submission now or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, that Von Flute choke is tight. Oh, flips the switch as he changed the submission attempt. He jumped right. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to lose his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Nice. Posturing up now, and now the damage is about to start. Hey, Ten up. seconds now to go in the round. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture uh, to land that big damage. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Unable to land the head kick there. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That was a slick transition. Big ground and pound. Now he's going full mount. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, he's got his back now. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He's getting very close to the submission. Jeez Louise, he's tough. to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes back. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the opponent, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. I absolutely did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Good, solid strike on the ground. His ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He's got to be careful here. Under two minutes now to go. Ref will help you here. He says the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Inside control, you got to turn the box since he goes knees on the belly. He's posturing. He's landed big ground and pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's going to get stopped. All right, feet on the hips here. Under a minute to go. Changing the position. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Start throwing now. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Twenty seconds left. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. And when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Huh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Okay, you own him this guy. You can do anything you want. This man just turtling up. He's got good reader make a choke defense, all right? If he gives you that back, I want you to swim off the back to spot. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, 
that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five, five minutes. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean off. Oh. Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice kill. Oh. Right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Just missing on the high kick there. There's the kick. It's blocked. Sequence there, the right hand followed by the left. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That was a solid punch. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's got that single collar tie on the pin. There it is again. Look at this. Oh, body shot. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He's got it isolated. Oh, he bails on the submission now. And now he's got the back. Good work. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice. Oh. The swelling is starting to show. He has been beaten up from the top. He has got to move. Oh, he's got his back. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, right into mount. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor. You now, you start to worry about the blood going into the mouth, the blood going into the eyes. You just got to worry about, oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. 
arm triangle, getting very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find a finish. Working hard once again for that submission. It looks tight to me. Result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call his shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner. And this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.